Happy Halloween, Disney nerds! Happy Halloween, Disney nerds! Welcome back. If you're coming back to my channel, thank you always so much for your support. But if you're new here, hi! Hi! My name is Alex. I am a hardcore Disney nerd, but also Canadian, as my handle just suggests. And guys, it is October 31st. It is Halloween. Happy Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. I'm so excited, but I'm also very sad because I love spooky season. I love Halloween. And we're officially at the end. So I felt like let's do an actual advent calendar, which is Nightmare Before Christmas themed. And it has 13 days countdown. Now, obviously, we're Halloween, so I'm opening everything together. I should have done a countdown, but I was gonna do it with you guys. And I'm so excited because these little, little Funko minis are all neon colors. So we can kind of see here on the back, we have an Oogie Boogie in like neon pink and Jack with like neon yellow, Sally, you know, the mayor. We have a lot of the characters and I'm just so excited to open it up with y'all. So I hope you also had a fun spooky season. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been doing. What's your favorite kind of tradition to do maybe during Halloween or Halloween season? I love it. I love to know because Halloween is actually my favorite season of the year. So I love getting new ideas and I feel like this season we honestly conquered it. So many fun things in terms of our trips, in terms of you know, the decorating I did this year, maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek at the end of this video to kind of see how I decorated um, our place for Halloween. But I hope you've been having a blast too. So let's go ahead and jump into this and full on celebrate the end of Halloween with a countdown and this advent calendar. Now, I got this from GameStop, but I know you can get this from Funko directly. I'm sure they had it at like Hot Topic. I'm sure they've had it at different places um, wherever you can get merchandise. But when you do open it up, it kind of comes with this like little slip board and then it opens up to this gorgeous image of Jack and Sally just holding hands. So stinking cute. Oh my God, I'm just so freaking in love. And then when you go ahead and actually open it, it opens up to the scene of them in the pumpkin patch on the turny heel, if you will, with the 13 different slots. I am actually really sad. I don't want to do this. This means that Halloween is over. Oh, I know I'm an adult, but adulting's hard, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just hitting me now how this is like the end. Ugh, such a great month. Anyways, and I just feel for you guys to actually see it a little bit more in better detail, we're gonna go ahead and actually do a little bit more of a close up as we're opening those doors. Alrighty, so now on to handheld mode. And as you can see here, we have the box. I'm just gonna give you a nice little view of the box. Again, I just love 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 so much this cover it is so beautiful and again when we do open it we do have um the pumpkin patch with jack and sally on the hill and this is what the back looks like kind of the same that we saw here on that box i'm gonna go ahead and get my camera situated down so we can start opening number one already putting my little god down here Let's see the best kind of view. Does that work? Do you guys get to see all the numbers? No? All right, that does the trick. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, now we're gonna go for number one up here. And it has these like little hole slots, which makes it easy. Oh, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. It was gonna be normally they go ahead and, uh, um, Houston, we have a problem here. I think they put it upside down. It's all black. <laughs> <laughs> they put it upside down? No! Okay, wait, hold on a second. I need to rearrange this box. Yep, okay, so they put it upside down. So now I have everything in order where we should be now seeing the bags in the proper alignment. Um, and we have our first little pink bag. Um, and let's see how easy they rip. Oh, these guys don't actually rip that well. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna need to get my scissors, just a second. Now the thing is, these bags are kind of see-through, so I'm gonna try to not spoil it for myself by looking at the same time. But the first one we have in number one is Jack. We have Jack 
in his regular um, outfit that you can kind of see here. And what's kind of nice, he has some like fun accents on his shoes where it's like purple and blue. And then we have these like really fun neon stripes on his outfit. And he has a little grin with his little yellow neon head. So that's number one. Oh, that's better. Okay, good. Yeah, I just wanted to change the angle so you guys could see them laid out as I was unbagging them. So let's now go to box number two and see who we have here. Ooh, we have um, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Oh my God, wait, who's this one? I know Shock because Shock is the witch because she's my favorite. I think it's Lock because I think Barrel's the more pudgier one. Anyways, what's really cool is that he has a bright orange mask. He has a yellow face, pink hair. Oh, you are fierce. Even though they're minis, I mean, they're really well done. I'm really impressed by the quality of them. Hmm. Let's go on to number three. Who do we have? Oh, we have Sally. Oh, look at her with her little blue neon face and pink hair. God, these are really nice. Oh my God, they're so bright. Look at her, even her outfit. And the details on there. Oh girl, that pink hair. This would be a really cool Halloween idea. You know what I mean? Like doing the outfit, but just doing them in neon colors. I mean, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but you can kind of see all like the thread lines. You can kind of see her little basket. Really cool. So we got Sally as number three. We're gonna move on to number four, which is right over here. Oh my God, I really do not want to. Oh, there we go. They're all like falling now, of course. Number four, we got a yellow bag. We have here, ooh, we have the mayor. I just love Tim Burton's vision and his drawings. I mean, Henry Selleck is the guy who did, who directed it, right? So it's also his brilliance, but this character is just a knockout. And look at all these colors. I think this is actually one of my favorite advent calendar boxes that they've ever released. Cause it's just the characters and it's one of my favorite Halloween and Christmas movies or all the year round movies, if you will. But let's just kind of give you a little bit more of a close up of his big grin, his eye there. So this is his happy side. And then in here, this is his sad side. Kind of looks like a scary fish. <laughs> anyway, so we got the mayor number four. Number five is a pink bag. Oh, I saw, I saw who the character is and I am excited. We have Dr. Finkelstein. Steen, Stein, Steen, Stein. Anyways, we have him with, and actually you can't close his head. It's actually like that, but it's just to kind of expose his very neon pink brain. He has his glasses on there, a grin, and he's in his wheelchair. So much fun. That's such a great character. I'm actually surprised that they didn't have the mechanics to like make sure this closed. They just wanted to make sure it did, um, you know, showcase his brain because he does play with it and touch it as he's like kind of scheming. But um, I have as well the actual larger Funko character of him, not a Neo form in, in the, the regular form um, where you can open and close his like cap to his brain, which I think is a really cool aesthetic and and Funko Pop for that reason. Did you also know that he was originally supposed to be the villain? I was watching a documentary where um, at the end of the movie where Oogie Boogie Redding is getting caught up um, in that claw machine um, in the end scene that it's supposed to unveil like as if it's like a costume and he's supposed to be there. But they decided that Oogie Boogie because he was, you know, the Oogie Boogie Monster Man, you know, they decided to keep him as the villain and this as just a regular character, Dr. Finkelstein. That was a really cool fact. Number six, who are we gonna have here? Oh, we have another one of Oogie Boogie's boys. We have Beryl. So like I said before, this is Locke. Shock is the girl witch. And then we have Beryl, who is the skeleton mask um, of the gang and kind of like, the nitwit of the group. I mean, they're all nitwits, but kind of like the dumb one of the group. But he's holding his little candy lollipop in his skeleton form. So a skeleton costume. 
and he has blue neon hair really cool and what i like is that it's not just i'm just trying to get this here and focus for you guys but it's if you can kind of see there's shading on his mask so it's both yellow and orange so they really went out of their way to include like those details it's really fun that's really really fun all right moving on to number seven. Oh, this one feels kind of big what is this one who do we have oh we have zero Yay, we have zero. So zero here is full on yellow. And as you can see here, he has his little jack-o'-lantern nose, his cute little eyes and his little tail. So zero is Jack Skellington's dog, but he's a ghost. There we go. Oh my God, he's so gorgeous. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Number eight, another yellow bag here. We have Oogie Boogie himself. Oh my sweet Oogie Boogie. So he is like a bright neon pink. You can see his stitching all in black. And what I like is that all the shadows are accentuated with kind of like a purple lining. They did some really awesome details. You can even see um, kind of like the potato sack kind of um, texture. That's his body. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Number nine. Oh, I didn't know if they were going to have this character and they do. <gasps> oh my God, it's Vampire Teddy. And look at those colors. I had no idea. I didn't know what characters they were going to do because they only show the four on the back. And I thought it was going to be the same as the... Um, regular pops that they're releasing like the full uh like the regular size pops but look at vampire teddy i think this is my favorite so we can see here like where it's supposed to be black it's purple the face where it was normally like white or off-white is orange the lips are like fluorescent pink oh girl damn could you imagine if the movie was in this colors i mean it'd probably be an eyesore but Really cool, I love that they did this. Okay, we're on to number 10 now. And, uh-oh, there goes Dr. Fingelstein, there goes the mayor, uh-oh, okay. Now we have this one plus three more, so we're almost to Halloween, who do we have? <gasps> we have Shock, my favorite character. Oh my God, look at her. <gasps> Oh, she is gorge. So she has a purple hat with a pink um, kind of band around the hat. She has blue hair, yellow face complexion, but a green mask. She has her little slingshot detail here and her little boots and her little dress. And she has like a little sassy like arm pose on the side. Yes, queen, get it. She doesn't want to stand up, so she's going to lay down. She was, she was too fierce today. She was just too fierce. Okay, number 11, who do we have? Now, if I had to guess what characters we had left, I mean, we have the majority. Who else do we need? I mean, there's like the vampires, there's Santa. Maybe they'll do a repeat of like Jack and Sally, like maybe Jack in like Santa uniform. I mean, they could do the Wolfman. They could do, oh, they could do the the clown with like the machete in his head. Uh, Behemoth, Behemoth is his name. That would be cool. But let's see who we have. Okay, who do we have? <gasps> we have Santa. Yes, daddy though, look at Santa. So he has his list. He's like mostly neon yellow with pink and an orangey like tangerine face. Just some really fun details. So like the fluff of his robe and like look at his beard even. Like his beard is just really cool. That's really fun. I love these details. And his little like pink nose, yes. And now we're gonna go to number 12, second to last. So I was right about Santa. So who else could we have? We have 
Ooh, we have another Sally. So I have a feeling that the last one is gonna be Jack of Santa. It has to be, because they're doing duplicates of the two lead characters. And this one specifically is the same coloring as the other one that we saw. So the blue face, pink hair, but it's her sitting down with the flower, um, which is another common pose for her. And actually they have the um, regular size pop that looks exactly like this, but then obviously this one is in neon colors. So very, very cute. Right beside, actually, we're gonna put her on the other side of Jack there. And now, last but not least, happy Halloween, everybody. I mean, I'm gonna try to do this without knocking characters over. That's the hope and the wish. We have a pink bag, oh, there goes Barrel. I'm thinking it's going to be Santa Jack. I mean, if they're gonna do another Jack, it should be Santa Jack. Oh, we have Jack, but not the Jack I was expecting. This is scary Jack. Ooh, okay. So same coloring as we saw before, the pinstripe, um, the yellow um, kind of neon head and like, uh, well, I was gonna say facial features or skin features, but he's bone daddy. So, I mean, <laughs> he um, is all yellow there in terms of what's supposed to be skeleton. He still has his little neon suit, his cool kicks, his cool little shoes there, but he is scary Jack Skellington. Ooh, so they were really making sure for Halloween that it's the scary version, not the Santa version, which I guess makes sense. I was just kind of expecting um, Santa, but I, I still love this version. This is great. Awesome. All right. Well, we have done our 13 days advent calendar to Halloween. And this is all the characters we got in all their neon glory. So, so cute. Um, if I had to choose my favorite, honestly, even though I love shock, look again at Vampire Teddy. Like, come on. That is just too cute so this is i think my favorite one sorry i'm just getting that a little bit more focus for you guys um but there we go that's the advent calendar for halloween of nightmare before christmas now let's go back to our regularly scheduled program and with that dis nerds we are closing another spooky holiday season i am feeling i'm fe i'm 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 dead dead gonna die I'm feeling bittersweet. I'm feeling all the things. I love Halloween. I love a Halloween season. This was a really great Halloween season with a lot of fun, as I hope you've been kind of keeping up with. And if you are liking the content I'm putting out there, please make sure to show me by putting that like right down below there, right? Right below this video. Um, and in the comment below, let me know what was your favorite Funko Pop that we opened from this mini set of Nightmare Before Christmas. And as well, how are you enjoying your Halloween season? What are you doing? What are you doing today for Halloween? If you're watching this actually on Halloween, which I hope you are. But with that, if I did bring some spookiness, if I did bring some fun to your day, my job is done. And I hope you just pay that spooky magic forward to somebody else who may need it. But with that, I mean, a lot of fun is still here to come. So I hope you're hitting those alerts. I hope you subscribe so we can continue that journey together through the other holiday season, which I'm also excited for. I love Christmas, but I am such a Halloween guy. Anyways, Diz nerds, with that, let's have a proper send off for Halloween. Again, I hope you had some fun. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great Halloween. And with that, goodbye. He's so cute. He's so cute though. Thank you.